I actually volunteer at the food shelter on the weekends, and he loves to come out to help. The food shelter? I'm not surprised. Mom. <laughs> my third glass. Yeah, but it's only five o'clock. It's wine o'clock. <laughs> Son, we cannot wait to meet your new girlfriend. You can already tell how happy your mother is. I've never seen you happier. You guys are gonna love her. She's sweet and loving. Everything you see in mom, I see in her. Aww, she must be gorgeous. What does she look like? You guys will see soon enough. She's got a beautiful smile. It lights up the room as soon as she walks in. Well, I hope she's not one of those LA vegan types because your old man has got some ribs in the oven. No, she's not a vegan. She eats normal food like the rest of us. Well, then I like her already. Whatever happened to your ex? Was it Nicole? Yeah, she went back to her abusive ex-boyfriend. No. no. Yeah, very toxic girl. It made me realize it doesn't matter how pretty a girl is on the outside. If she isn't beautiful on the inside, then it's all for nothing. Big difference between anything I've seen in any other girl. <laughs> That's my boy. I think I raised you right. That must be her. I have a really good feeling about this one. Mom, Dad, you guys, this is my new girlfriend, Sarah. So nice to meet you guys. Nice, nice to meet you too. too. <laughs> I can see what he meant about big difference. Um. <laughs> Daniel's told me so much about you guys. I'm so glad we finally get to meet. Well, I hope you brought your appetite. Jeez, I hope we have enough food. Oh, I'm actually not too hungry. I just came back from a friend's birthday party. They had some food there but I'd love to try one or two of your ribs. Actually, Daniel ordered ribs on our first date together. Did he? Well, Sarah, what do you like to do for fun besides go out to eat? Excuse me? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I meant what, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, um, simple things. We like going to the beach together mm -hmm. uh, or staying in and watching movies. I actually volunteer at the food shelter on the weekends and he loves to come out to help. The food shelter? I'm not surprised. Mom. I'm just saying what everybody in this room is thinking. Mom, what is your problem? I'll admit, I was a bit shocked that you're dating a big girl, but that does not matter to me at all. I think she is beautiful and that does not make it okay to say things like that, Mary. Son, I'm just used to you dating someone that's fit. Like your ex-girlfriend, she was fit. She is fit. What are you talking about? That is not fit. Aren't you worried about her life expectancy? I'm so sorry, guys. I don't want to ruin your family dinner. I have to go. Mom, you are disgusting. Talk to her, Dad. Was it something I said? Who do you think you are? Talking to our son's partner like that. He just opened up about how much he loves her and how good she treats him. And you go on and, and make fun of her and hurt her feelings? You eat dinner alone tonight. And when that alcohol wears off, maybe you'll remember what it was like when you were younger. Hey, wait a minute. Sarah, I am so sorry about my mom. It's okay, I'm fine. No, really, my mom starts drinking and just blurts things out without thinking. It's just, I haven't had someone talk to me like that since I was a kid. Hearing that brought back memories of when I was younger and people can just be so mean, words hurt. Forget her, okay? I don't care what she says. I love you, Sarah. I love you you for who you are as a person. You're the greatest thing that's ever come into my life. If words can hurt, then words can heal. Take it from me when I say you are different than any other girl I've ever met in my life. You're caring, you're loving, 
You put other people before you. You're everything I ever wanted in a girl. Daniel, you're so good to me. You know how to make me feel so good. Come in. Thank you for, for coming. Can you sit down? First of all, Sarah, I want to tell you how sorry I am. That's not the way I, I am as a person. I wasn't raised that way. I didn't raise my son that way. And you making him happy is all I care about. Cool. You said sorry. Is that it? No. It's not. There's a lot more. Daniel, Sarah, when I was younger, I had anorexia nervosa. Anorexia. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't want to tell you. I knew you'd be worried and I was ashamed. It was actually your dad who helped me with my fears and my distorted weight. Oh, but I just... It had such a hold on me. It affected everything I did. The kids at school would call me names and it would make it worse. I was literally starving myself to death. My kidneys and my organs were dying and I couldn't stop. I had low self-esteem and it took me years to get past my childhood traumas. But there was something that I saw in your eyes, this hurt that felt like the same hurt that I had when I was younger, and I, I guess I was just projecting my own insecurities on you. And I'm so sorry. I forgive you. We're both beautiful women. We should be uplifting each other instead of tearing each other apart. Look, I get it. Being a girl is tough. Can I get a hug? Yeah. Well, thank you. If words can hurt, then words can heal. Words are powerful. You can make or break somebody's day by the things that you say to that person. Now keep in mind that whenever someone is making fun of another person, what they're actually doing is projecting their own insecurities onto that other person. Daniel's mom was so insecure about her own body image that she would project her insecurities onto Daniel's girlfriend. Let's all do better as a community to remain body positive and not put other people down. I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.